All right, I'm going to start off this video and, and make a plea for investors to, for heaven's sake, quit making the same mistake over and over and over. And by that, I mean people are, they, they quit, they give up, they get frustrated right as we're moving into the timing band for an intermediate bottom. Uh, seriously, if, if you're a trader that is all capable of learning, you've got to, at, by this point anyway, you've got to have learned that the, the only way to make money in, in metals or, or really anything is to buy at a bottom and then try and sell at a top. So here was our last bottom. And I can, I can guarantee you that there were people by the hundreds, if not thousands that were giving up hope on gold as we were moving down into this bottom. They had become uh, frustrated. Let me widen the chart a little bit even. All right. So <clears throat> gold had been going down since August of 2020. So uh, basically for a year, it had been going down and then going sideways and, and people were just frustrated. They, uh, they'd given up on gold and I, I tried to convince these people to hang in there and that they needed to, you know, to buy when we had the bottom. Of course, very few people will ever listen to me at these bottoms. Their emotions are in control. And uh, this is when they want to sell and give up uh, instead of, um, you know, they're, they're, they're bearish because, because this is what has come before. So they, they know only disappointment. And so they won't listen to me. They won't buy the bottoms. And then, um, you know, and then this is what happens. You get um, an intermediate rally that goes all the way up and, and retests the all-time highs. But I guarantee you 90% of the, of the people that, that, you know, wouldn't listen to me down here and wouldn't buy at these bottoms, they, they didn't buy, or if they did buy, they bought up here somewhere. And then, of course, they get caught in the top and they end up riding down the intermediate decline and then they just like they're doing right now they're they're starting to give up in droves they're they're frustrated and if you take a step back and look at the big picture you can see that there's you know there's nothing really wrong with this picture other than you know we're we're fighting against the cartel that's trying to keep gold suppressed but the cartel is not going to win this battle they can win it temporarily but they're not going to win the long term battle they just aren't and so uh, what has happened? We've got a higher low. This low did not drop below this low. We've got a higher high. This intermediate um, top came at a higher level than this uh, intermediate top. And I am about 99% sure that when we get this intermediate bottom, it is going to hold above this intermediate bottom. This uh, intermediate cycle is right translated. Um, I'm about 99% sure we're in a f in the final daily cycle of this intermediate decline. This is the cycle that left translate and left translates and fails, and by that I mean it tops uh, on the left side of center, and then it makes a lower low, and that that's what's happened here. Here was our daily cycle low. We had a, a rally of um, about 12 days, something like that, and, and then the, the cycle top. We come down, we break this low, so we're we're now making lower lows and lower highs. But at some point that pattern ends and it's going to end before it comes down and breaks uh, this intermediate low. And then, and then we're going to start the, the advancing phase of the next intermediate cycle. And, and all of the uh, dummies that, that can't learn the lesson will miss this next rally, just like most of them missed this rally because they were... Um, despondent and dejected that, that you know, this didn't, uh, this rally didn't go as high as they wanted to. And then uh, they panicked out here at the bottom. And, you know, this is a perfect indication of that. Uh, everybody's panicking out here and then you run out of sellers and what happens, you get a big reversal. Um, and then the same thing here, uh, this just went down too far and too long and everybody gave up hope. And, uh, and then they end up selling and quitting and giving up at the bottom and then they miss a nice rally. And the, the rally has been um, exceptionally good in the mining stocks. So all of these people that, that just, you know, gave up hope 
and and quit and you know didn't weren't able to catch this rally they, they missed a very nice rally in the in the mining stocks I mean this this was a uh, about a 43 percent rally in uh, what two two and a half months that that's a pretty significant move so you know, the the same thing's going to happen here we're going to we're going to find our bottom here soon and, and we're going to have another rally but uh, you know the, the the dumb people that can't learn their lesson are going to miss this rally just like they missed this rally so now let's let's look at gold here uh, and the reason they're going to do it is because the the bottom uh, the the market's not going to bottom quick enough for them uh, so um, you should be getting more and more bearish or bullish every day that goes by we're closer to the the day that we get the final bottom here in gold so um, you don't have to buy today it's it's probably still too early but we've completed one parameter here we needed to break this uptrend line and I kept telling people that that should happen that gold really needs to break this trend line it also probably needs to close below it and it's probably going to have to close below it for you know multiple days uh, just you know marginally breaking it that that's not the the signal that the bottom is in I mean it could be uh, that that could be the bottom but you know, probably not we probably got a little further to go sentiment is still it could be a little bit more bearish and the COTs could improve uh, a bit more and then I think we would have um, uh, a better a better setup for uh, a, a final bottom and, and more fuel for the rally um, <clears throat> so um, anyway we've broken marginally broken this trend line so we're, I'm expecting we'll probably uh, get a you know at least a few more days and close down in here somewhere uh, before we get the final bottom but but we're getting a, a bit mature this daily cycle is getting a bit mature and, and so um, you know we've we've got a signal that we're waiting for that's going to tell us when it's time to start buying but we're we're starting to check off um, the the requirements needed for that bottom to form and this was one of them here was was a break uh, of the trend line now we want to see a close below the trend line uh, we've already turned the 10 week moving average back down so we're just waiting for uh, the main signal that it's time to start buying again and then when we buy then we're, we should have another two and a half to four month rally before the next intermediate cycle tops and we've tested this all-time high um, uh, twice now so the the third test has pretty good odds of, of breaking out so um, when this bottoms I think this bottom is going to be the one that could give us the breakout uh, the problem with this rally was it just this was a really long intermediate cycle and we tested this very late in this intermediate cycle like you know 28 29 weeks in odds of a, of a sustained breakout that late in intermediate cycles kind of slim so you know no you know it, it's no surprise that we we weren't gold wasn't able to break out on this run um, and then you know of course the, the cartel came in here and and made sure that uh, we came back down but I'm, I'll say it again the cartel is not going to win this battle uh, they're, or they're not going to win the war they're, they're going to win some battles from time to time and they're going to frustrate people but they're not going to win this war and uh, and I, I think the odds are pretty good that the uh, next intermediate rally when it starts uh, we're going to test this again and if we can test it early in the intermediate cycle not you know 28 weeks into the intermediate cycle but if we can test it early in the intermediate cycle then we can get a sustained breakout and a huge move and and you know once gold is at 22 or 2300 then all of the you know the, the the people that just cannot learn their lesson uh, and should have been buying down here and getting bullish when I tell them that they need to start getting bullish then they'll look back and they'll say yep Gary was right again just like he was right down here and just like he was right down here um, so now is the time to start getting bullish it doesn't mean you have to buy tomorrow but we're getting close 
So instead of getting more and more frustrated and more and more despondent and bearish, you need to start getting um, more and more bullish and prepare to pull the trigger. Um, I've covered again multiple times in the uh, premium report what the signal is going to be for us to get in and then look for another, um, like I said, two to, to four month rally. And uh, the I think the odds are good that this time the uh, the next rally we're going to get a breakout above this. And this is a really long consolidation, which uh, means that we could have a, a really nice move on a breakout.